He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. This one's wife. Playing with the children. A rare sighting. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The speculation continues in relation to Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. The children that are hardly ever seen, which simply fuels the speculation that either they don't exist, and when footage has been shown of them in pictures in the past, that they're basically renter children, or that they do exist, but there's something suspicious about the fact that they're hardly ever mentioned or particularly seen. It persists with people with the belief that the pregnancies were faked and that the children, if they do exist, arose from a surrogate. Their continued absence by way of appearing continues to fuel those rumours and speculation. As you know from parts passim, this one's wife likes to trot out that she's a mother. It's very useful for the narcissist to do that with regard to the facade. She likes to talk about being a good mother. She likes to talk about some of the things that she does as a mother. But we rarely see her being a mother. Her supporters will say, well, that's a private matter. But bear in mind the fact that she's a public figure and she does make reference to her children it is rather interesting that they're never seen. Furthermore, what we do get to see is repeated instances of this one's wife and Harry being away without their children, which either supports the fact that the children don't exist, or if they do, these are particularly absent parents who don't care so much about the upbringing of their children. This is particularly, of course, the case when it comes to a narcissist, Utterly self-absorbed, she is what matters, not the children. The children are just there to further her aims, as I've explained previously. I've also explained to you that the fundamental reason that we don't see the children, assuming that they exist, is simply that they will detract from her in two ways. Firstly, she's not a natural mother, and given that she doesn't spend much time with them, as a result of swanning around the globe, but also she won't spend much time with them at home. She'll leave it to others to do that while she's stuck away in the study, shouting at people on Zoom calls and perusing social media, so that in effect she doesn't actually have much of a relationship with the children, which means that in public they're less likely to be obedient, which will of course threaten her control and damage her facade. Secondly, there'll be so much interest in the children rather than her that will also threaten her control. You may well think it's pathetic for her to be envious of her children, but narcissists are. They will use the children to make themselves look good, but any praise directed at the children is gobbled up by the parent. The fact that people will be taking an interest in the child gets to the narcissist, it wounds them. And therefore, that is the most likely reason why the children are not seen is because she doesn't know how to handle them, thus it threatens her sense of control, and that be so much focus on the children, not her, that will threaten her sense of control by wounding her. Notwithstanding all of this, we're teased with the fact that apparently we're getting a new sighting of them, a rare sighting of this one's wife, and possibly Harry, with the children. Yes, at the moment this one's wife isn't swanning around as far as we are aware and instead that means that she has to continue with her PR puff pieces because she can't let a day go by without her being commented upon favourably by one of the supine publications. Unsurprisingly, it falls to hello for them to issue the latest bit of PR puffery on the part of the Duchess of Delusion and their headline is Prince Harry. And this one's wife play with Archie, Lilibet, and their dogs in rare clip. Oh, a bit of footage has been released on the world, has it? We're going to see them playing together, and with the dogs as well. What a wholesome piece of footage that has been released. Naturally, this is being done for facade management to show what a charming family unit they are. Maybe this one's wife, stung by criticism of the fact that she regularly goes away with the children, without the children rather, 
feels the necessity of responding to that criticism by pointing out to the people that shouldn't be questioning her, look, I do spend time with the children. See, here's some video evidence. Now, fuck off. This PR puff piece, therefore, may be part of the management of her facade and also to nullify the threat to control by attacking those naysayers. Let's dive into the article and let's see what this video presents to us in terms of the latest update, a rare glimpse in relation to Archie and Lilibert. Perhaps we'll see how much they've changed or perhaps not changed. Danielle Stacey writes, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, are growing up out of the spotlight. But Prince Harry and this one's wife shared a fascinating glimpse into life with their young family in Monty Shitshow in their Netflix docuseries. In one sweet scene from episode 6, the couple can be seen holding hands with their daughter Lilibet, dressed in a floral flo frock as she toddles through their beautiful garden. This one's wife, wearing knitwear and denim shorts, can be seen crouching slightly to speak to her little girl, as Harry, clad in a polo shirt, shorts and a baseball cap, glances at his daughter as the trio follow Archie, who is running off ahead. The little boy is joined by two of the family's dogs as he heads towards the trees on the Sussex's Tuscan-style property, which boasts a swimming pool, a gym and a chicken coop and play area for the children. Watch the adorable family moment in the clip below. Well, I'm not going to show you the clip because what they've done is try and entice people by suggesting that this is a rare clip that has been released of them recently, when in actual fact, although this article came out yesterday, it relates to events that took place some 18 months ago, possibly longer. Great. Yes, once again, this one's wife brings up the past through a PR puff piece so that an event that took place at some point in 2022 is regurgitated in 2024 for the purposes of showing their idyllic lifestyle. It's nonsensical, but this is the behaviour of the narcissist. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the article. It's just more crap from the past that's being regurgitated, and it's being done now. These are events that took place in 2022. The video clip is from the documentary that came out in December of that year, and it covers events that have taken place in 2022 with the children being filmed back then. It isn't recent. Yet this is what this one's wife repeatedly does, is ensure that PR puff pieces are issued, bringing up the past for the purposes of controlling now, bringing up the past to make things look like they're all idyllic now, rather than actually giving a glimpse into what's happening now. It is actually counterproductive, however, and demonstrates the short-term nature of her narcissism, because all that happens is that you have commentators such as myself that sees articles such as this, and then points out how it's actually just bringing up the past, that it's manipulative, and it's not telling us anything new. So rather than cause people to go, oh, isn't that lovely? Look at the lovely children, yada, yada, yada. It causes people to say, so you still aren't able to provide us with any sightings of the children currently. Hmm, that's suspicious. Ooh, so you have to use footage from two years ago, but you haven't got anything current. Could that be because they are the Invisi kids and they don't actually exist? And the children that appear are only brought into order for the purposes of filming and photographs? Hmm? Maybe they're not available at the moment. It just increases people's suspicions. And that's the nature of this one's wife's narcissism. It seeks to assert control in the moment by regurgitating a matter from the past, but actually the collateral consequence that rises from it is to result in more questions and criticism and ultimately become self-defeating. That is the story of this one's wife. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.